Welcome to the Spiration Valve System Airway Sizing In-Service. Today, we will review the proper steps for sizing the bronchial airway for determining the correct size spiration valve to use. To determine an airway size for appropriate valve selection, insert the deflated balloon into the instrument channel of the bronchoscope. Keep the tip of the balloon catheter just inside of the distal end of the bronchoscope while maneuvering to the selected airway. Advance the balloon into the target airway, aligning the middle or waist of the balloon with the intended valve placement site. Inflate the balloon until it is contacting the entire circumference of the target site. The bronchoscopist should feel a slight tug when moving the catheter back and forth to assure a good fit, taking care not to over or under inflate as this can result in the selection of an improper valve size. Using the worksheet that was filled out during balloon calibration, look up the syringe volume on the worksheet table and select the indicated valve size. Before retracting the balloon inside the bronchoscope, fully deflate the balloon by returning the plunger to the 500 microliter mark. Take care not to pull the plunger beyond the 500 microliter mark. An alternative method of airway sizing, referred to as the pin gauge technique, can be used. To utilize this technique, advance the balloon into the target airway, aligning the middle or waist of the balloon with the intended valve placement site. Inflate the balloon to the volume on the syringe that corresponds to the A-gauge hole. If the balloon, when inflated to the A-gauge size, does not fully contact the entire circumference of the target site, inflate the balloon to the volume that corresponds to the B-gauge size. Continue advancing to the next larger gauge size until the balloon is too large or wedged in the airway. The correct size valve falls in between the last two gauge sizes.